So this is just crazy and another example and reason why men should not get married, especially in today's age and society. So former Seahawks star Earl Thomas had his identity stolen by his ex-wife's boyfriend. And he lost about close to $2 million, even though this article says $1.9 million in assets. It was closer to $2 million in assets where she stole, where he stole, excuse me, um, information in his name and used to open bank accounts, transfer a lot of money into that, buy cars in his name. Now, again, I, I don't know how the hell number one there's two things here i don't know how the hell earl thomas did not figure that out where is he not getting alerts emails text messages from the banks that said hey somebody opened this account and deposited this amount of money using your identity and two his ex-wife definitely had something to do with this i mean that's the ex-wife's new boyfriend and he has access to earl thomas's personal information like his name social security bank records and stuff like that and he decides to open things in his name and you mean to tell me that she did not have any idea that he was doing this i call bullshit but hey let's hear this is a video clip about this uh, about talking about the whole incident so let's roll former nfl safety earl thomas is the alleged victim of an identity theft scheme and look the details around this story is pretty wild so let's get to it kevin j thompson the boyfriend of Thomas's ex-wife was arrested in New Orleans and is accused of cashing the former safety's NFL checks, stealing from his bank account and transferring. Now, hold on. How is he cashing Earl Thomas's former NFL checks? Is his checks not going directly to Earl Thomas? Is the ex-wife getting a piece or if not all his NFL checks? How the hell does that work? And maybe, you know, when they got divorced, he got suckered to paying alimony and child support because this nowadays these what women do they use marriage and divorce as a bank transaction as a bank transaction rather than love so is the ex-wife getting all of his nfl checks and if so that needs to change because that's fucked up she didn't work for that money he did and car ownership for several vehicles thompson is now facing charges including identity theft forgery money laundering hmm. credit card fraud Jesus. computer fraud and bank fraud. Jeez. Thompson allegedly opened an account in Earl Thomas's name at Jefferson Federal Credit Union in May of 2022. Thompson then moved at least six Now hold on, this is another thing with the bank too because when you open an account, well obviously different banks have different policies, but when you open an account, you need that person's social security number along with their address where they live and stuff like that. So clearly, that goes to show you that the ex-wife had this information and was given it to the boyfriend because not like the boyfriend knew right off the bat his information the ex-wife had the information and was given it to the boyfriend who's probably a loser and decided to commit bank fraud and buy all these things in his name and again how did they not alert earl thomas about this or does he not have any type of notification to his email phone text and say hey somebody just opened an account using your social security number your name your information how the hell did this was this not being set to him it's mind blowing to me seven hundred thousand dollars from thomas's accounts into the jefferson federal credit union account jesus now, thompson then withdrew cash from that account including fifty thousand dollars in may of 2023 but there's more thompson also allegedly transferred the title in multiple vehicles owned by the former legion of boom star jesus. to himself before selling the cars and keeping the money now again how was he able to get away with doing this shit like did they not just check his id like hey i need to see your id real quick oh you're earl thomas okay here you go you look like earl thomas how did they how did he get away with doing this thing man it's crazy and the girlfriend and the ex-wife needs to be charged because she definitely had a hand in this i don't want to hear she did it because she clearly did who else knew this man's personal information rather than the woman who was laying bed to him, who was laying next to him in bed every single night? Complete bullshit. Now, how did it all fall apart? Well, a Texas credit union where Earl Thomas had one or more accounts contacted Jefferson Federal Credit Union regarding suspicious activity. Hmm. The credit union then alerted law enforcement in June of 2023 after concluding that someone other than Earl Thomas had opened the account in his name. I mean, they should have concluded that the moment he went in to open an account or register for an account. I don't know if he did it online or in person, but it's just that just goes to show you when you do stuff online, there's really little to no fact check to make sure that you are the person you say you are. 
It's, it's, it's ridiculous. One day later, Thompson was arrested at a Jefferson Federal Credit Union branch in New Orleans. Thompson was driving a Rolls Royce SUV that he had transferred out of Earl Thomas's name. And after being released, Thompson tried to retrieve the Rolls Royce while driving a Corvette that had been reported stolen in Atlanta. Jesus. So he was arrested again. So wait a minute. Right? This guy's a fucking idiot. He had a car that was not legally registered to him. They arrested him in that car. And then he went out and got another stolen car that was not under his name. This is how you go to prison 101. This guy sounds like he used to do this for a living and he wasn't smart at it. This is literally how to get caught and how to go to jail 101. Do not drive in anything that is stolen that is not under your possession by law. Because in case if you have a cop or a state trooper behind you, the first thing they're doing is they're running that plate number. And if the plate number doesn't match with the registration, and especially they pull you over for any suspicious activity, brother, you are going to jail. This man sounds like a fucking complete idiot. Now, Thompson is free on a $730,000 bond. He and his attorney declined which to he, comment. Which he probably used Earl Thompson's money that he stole to pay that bond. NOLA.com on Tuesday. The alleged victim, Earl Thomas, he was a seven-time Pro Bowler, three-time All-Pro and Super Bowl champion as a member of the Seattle Seahawks. That's insane. That is insane. And again, the article was from CBS Sports and the video was from SNY. But that is insane, man. Uh, I hope the ex-wife also gets arrested for um, uh, complying to this because she definitely had a hand in this identity theft of her ex-husband. And this is just another reason why men don't want to get married. I mean, she knew all the information. She aided and abated by it. And she probably married some loser ass boyfriend or was not married, but got together with some loser ass bun boyfriend who don't got no money to his name, has no future going for him. And she was getting some type of alimony or child support from Earl Thomas and somehow, some way getting his NFL checks, his retirement checks. And she was giving it to that scrub, that bum. He's probably sitting at home, you know, eating hot Cheetos on the couch, uh, you know, while the wife's out there working, he ain't doing not a damn thing. So definitely she had an aid into doing this identity theft fraud. And hopefully she gets the handcuffs behind her hand and she goes to jail and she spends some time in jail. But this is fucking crazy, man. Like shit like this. You do that to your ex-husband, a man who was financially providing for you, giving you everything. You probably didn't have to lift a finger to work financially because he was bringing home the bacon. He was a multimillionaire. And this is the things that you do for him in return. She's definitely getting some type of payment if she has access to his nfl checks because how the hell is she getting it? how the hell is the ex-boyfriend getting it she had it through him and she's giving it to the ex-boyfriend but again man it's just a crazy situation hopefully they both go to jail and they both spend significant amount of time in prison because identity theft should not be taken lightly let me know what you guys think about this whole earl thomas situation of his of him getting his identity stolen do you agree disagree with my commentary leave your comments down below subscribe to the channel smash the like button and i'll catch you guys on the flip side deuces